Alright guys, it's your boy Carolina Chris. Two Roll it, roll it. Sick. I'm back with you with another one of my new comic book day comic book hauls for December the 4th, 2019. Well, this week wasn't as thick as the week before, or the week before that for that matter. And as always, I hardly have no DC guys. I don't know what it is. It's not like I'm potentially going in there. Not potentially, intentionally going in there and not picking up any DC books. It's whatever's in my pool list, you know, and I don't know, Detective Comics, they had an issue come out this week, so uh, a couple books I have on my DC pool list didn't come out this week, I guess, so it makes this kind of a light week, guys. Mm -hmm. Yep, I have maybe three DC books, a little bit of indies, and that is the Marvel. So, let's get to it, guys. Why don't we? Uh, first off, guys, I want to hope everyone had a great, great Thanksgiving. Mine, on the other hand, sucked. I didn't get no turkey, no dressing, no pumpkin pie, no banana pudding. I didn't get nothing, man. I don't. I thought my grandma was supposed to cook, and something happened, and it didn't go down. If I would have known it, I would have cooked my own Thanksgiving dinner, but I didn't. I didn't talk to my brother, or my son ate dinner with his mother and her, her husband's family, so... It's all good, man. I ain't, you know, that's what I say, man. I miss my mom not being around, bro. Stuff like this. So, anyways, guys, let's get to this comic book haul. Tonight, we're going to start off with Marvel uh, Venom 2099, uh, issue one. I got the window open, man. The window's up. Breeze is blowing in here. It feels good. It's nice outside today. Um, this is the um, Ron Lim variant. Uh, writer is Jody Hauser. And I have one, two, three copies. This is the first appearance of a new Venom, and she's a female, bro. I actually peeked in this comment, got to look at who she is. Yeah, I'm actually, I can't wait to read this. Next, we've got Conan Serpent Wars, number one. Writer is Jim Zub, Zub. Uh, this is cover E, and the cover artist is Giuseppe Cameron Cole. This is Divergent Connecting Variant. Probably said Giuseppe's last name wrong, but hopefully you get the point. Can't wait to read that too because I love Cody. And next is another book I can't wait to read. And that is X-Men number three. This is the Alex Ross Marvel's 25th variant. Next is another book I can't wait to read. And writer is G uh, Jerry Duggan. Uh, Dugan. Dugan. I, I googled his name and asked Google how do you pronounce his name and they gave me the right pronunciation. So anyways, Savage Avengers number eight, To Dine with Doom. This is going to be a great, great book. My cousin put two copies in there for me. Can't wait to read it. Um, let's see. Cover artist for this is Valerio. Ooh, that is a long last name, bro. <laughs> I'm not even going to try, uh, but there's another second artist that worked on it, and it's Frank D. Armata. Next is another book I can't wait to read, and that is Excalibur, writer Teeny Howard. Um, this is issue number three. Um, cover artist for this is Koi Fam. Fam? Anyway, this is the Ven Venom Island variant. That is it with the Marvel, guys. That's all I have of Marvel. It's kind of, I want to say it's kind of a light week, but it is kind of a light, it is a light week. Next, we got Boom Studios. These are the independent comics. IDW, Boom Studios and IDW, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue one. This is the A cover. This is the Dan Mora uh, cover. Uh, writer is Ryan Parrott. Next, we have, I want to say this is the B cover, or maybe the C cover. This is the, um, the Montez, uh, Raphael, Red Helmet, uh, cover. It was actually four covers in there, one for each turtle. They're all variant covers. And when I was looking at them, I was like, eh, these, they look like all the same covers, but I didn't notice that, you know, there's the red straps, and there's little different changes to each color cover because the straps are to represent the turtle's headband these are the turtle's headband i believe i grabbed one i mean i could have grabbed them all bro but i don't know man after 
Black Friday, I, I've been spending on online since Thanksgiving, like buying Christmas presents. So I'm, I got to take it easy, bro. You know what I mean? Even though I've got the money, I mean, I could have bought any comic in the store I wanted, but I just got to be smart, guys. You know? Just because you got it, don't mean you got to spend it. Next, we got Image Comics, Dead Eyes, number three, uh, Jerry Duggan. Duggan, Duggan, Duggan. Duggan, that's how you say his last name. Duggan, yeah. <laughs> Dead eyes. So, um, let's see here. Cover art is John McCree. McCurry? McCurra? McCree, I don't know, whatever. M C C R E A. Yeah, you probably know how to pronounce it more than I do. But yeah, I love the story, though. This is a pretty good story. Dead eyes. Next, we got another image comics, and this is Die. Writer Karen Gillen, I believe this is the cover A, and this cover is by Stephanie Haynes, I believe. Uh, yeah, Stephanie Haynes, this is the cover she did. Now, I'm actually feeling the B cover a lot more, and that is by Anna uh, Dittman. The B cover, trust me, this is Stephanie Haynes. Now, what you see this, you probably already know what the B cover looks like, but look at this B cover. Huh? Let me get, get you a little bit up close and personal. That is wicked. Huh? Wow. She blew Stephanie Haynes out the water on her cover. This next is another book that's probably one of my favorite books with Scout Comics, and that's Stabity Bunny. But this is Stabity Ever After, Wonderland, uh, writer Richard Rivera. Richard Rivera. Um, let's see here. Cover artist for this is Ryan Kincaid. And writer Richard Rivera. I actually got to meet Richard at Baltimore Comic Con. And I fanboyed out. Which kind of embarrassed myself. But he was smiling. He thought I was kind of a wild as hell. But I was just, I was tripping out. Because it's the first time I met the guy, you know. A lot of people might not like Step and D Buddy. This might not be your cup of tea. But I actually kind of like the story. That's probably... Issue one, I, I kind of started to, I really, I fell in love with the story, the series, so, you know. I just, it's been so long since they've had a, uh, I think, Stabby Buddy, the last issue I had got was issue eight or nine, I believe. And, um, yeah, let's see here, I'll tell you exactly which one it was. Stabby Bunny, uh, issue eight. Issue eight was the last issue I had got from the series. As next, we've got Dark Horse Comics, The Butcher of Paris. It says based on a true story, and that's why I grabbed it, because, you know, I love I love stories that are based on true stories, like movies. You know, even if it's a crappy movie, most of the time I'll watch it, you know, because I'm really into that type of stuff. Uh, cover artist for this is Dave Johnson. Writer is Stephanie Phillips. This is the A cover, I believe. Yeah, this is the A cover. As next, we're going into D.C., um... First, we've got Batman Beyond 37. This is a second print cover artist. is Lee Weeks. Um, I didn't really know that it was a second print coming out today, but this was in my box. Uh, writer is Dan uh, Jurgens. Jurgens, right? Yeah, Jurgens. Dan Jurgens, I believe. Um... Yeah, I've got two copies of the B cover for this, but, man, I probably should have grabbed a couple more covers of this because that first print was on fire there. And I also have um, issue 37. I stuck it in my box. No, 38. 38. I stuck the cover for 38 in my box at the shop. I stuck a lot of books in my box at, at my LCS because I was just trying to keep my spending down. Today I spent $63, which is probably not as much as I normally... Well, I don't know. I like to keep it around 60 60 to 70, 70 ish, you know, I can usually cover. But uh, next, we've got DC, Year of the Villain, The Infected, Deathbringer, number one. This is where Donna Troy gets uh, gets turned into a, one of the Matt Batman who laughs, uh, um, I don't know, uh, runners or whatever you call them. But yeah, he does his thing, and Donna Troy is now with the rest of the group. Supergirl, uh, Shazam, Hawkman, I believe, uh, shoot, Commissioner Gordon. God, the whole squad is messed up. 
<laughs> Last, and this is it, DC Wonder Comics, Young Justice, number 11. Got my girl Naomi back, and hopefully we get Naomi doing some heavy lifting in this issue. I only picked up one issue. It's the B cover, and it's the cardstock variant. Um, cover artist is Nick Bradshaw, writer Brian Michael Bendis. Let me get you a good look at my girl. Uh, them dreads is a flowing. Let me tell you something, guys. It's because I'm Native American. Now, something I probably told y'all. My mom was Caucasian, and my dad's full-blooded Native American. Uh, growing up. My Native American father didn't do nothing for me, was never there, and I still barely talked to him. But my Caucasian mother raised me, broke her back, put clothes on me, fed me, you know? So, but I identify more with being a Native American. I mean, I had been going to powwows, like I said, since I was eight years old, uh, was in Indian education in school. I don't know, I just, you know, you know, how you, I, it's kind of complicated when you're like multiracial, you know, or biracial, you know, it's... Sometimes, like, probably around, like, some of my na my cousins are, like, darker than I am, you know, so it's like one race you're probably not going to feel as more welcome than you will with the other, so it's kind of complicated. I don't know where I'm going with this story, uh, but because I am biracial or Native American, whichever, uh, I don't discriminate when it comes to women. Nah, dude, I've dated Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Indians, uh, African Americans, white, uh, Korean. Filipino, hey, dude, I don't discriminate when it comes to women. A beautiful woman is a beautiful woman, and hey, but Naomi, now, uh, not this cover, but the one on Action Comics, the one that Lucero Perillo did before the last one, woo, girl, that girl on that cover, you bring her to life, man, and I will put a ring on that finger. Jeez, man, what's, what am I talking about? This is comic book character. That is it. That's my whole haul tonight, and even though I rambled on about uh, biracial and who I would date. That has nothing to do with what I love and that is comic books, bro. You and me. We love the same thing. Also, you see the hat, guys. Christmas is around the corner. Uh, it's time to go broke. Um, see your kids with a big smile on their face and I've got pretty much what my daughter wanted for Christmas. I got my son, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, some other stuff that he wanted. I just got a couple more things. I, I spent more money on myself. I just bought myself an Apple Watch. Uh, I bought myself Call of Duty, uh, uh, God, I, I, uh, I shouldn't have spent a lot more money on myself, but I couldn't take, I couldn't help it, man, those Black Friday deals, bro, they just sucked me in, man, and got me. Uh, yeah, I bought myself a new iPhone, uh, <laughs> God knows how much money I spent on myself, but, you know, I'm, I got my kids, man, don't worry about it, I got my kids. So, guys, I hope y'all got everything you wanted today for New Comic Book Day, man, and I hope you did not break the bank. I know some of these four ninety nine covers are really starting to get to people, but what can you do, man? Don't forget, tonight is the last night for the contest entries, guys. If you can't make a video, that is totally fine. I know a lot of people just really aren't into doing that type thing. Me, myself, I love to make crazy videos. Um, but you can just drop a comment below. Just follow the directions in the description of my contest video or on my Instagram. Read the directions and follow them. And get 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 your entry in, cause after tonight, twelve o'clock, I'm not taking no more entries, guys. And uh, I'll be doing the drawing Saturday at nine p.m. So I'll be live Saturday at nine p.m. at least. Yeah. So take care, guys. Be safe. God bless, and have a safe, safe week. Catch me on Call of Duty, guys. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. If you want to know my uh my at division account, K A R O L I N A. K H R I S two six pound sign six one 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 four seven two. That's my Activision account, guys. Check me out. Peace.